Hello, Lancasters. Hello. Everybody doing all right? We're doing great. Huh? We're doing great. Good. Has everybody got good at uh, doing these uh, virtual meetings? Yeah. All right. Well, I uh, I kind of get us started, and then I think Gracie's going to take over and uh, give you guys some tips. Um, feel free to uh, chime in, speak, do whatever. It's kind of like a regular. That's well, not like a regular meeting whatsoever. But uh, feel free to just speak if you got questions or whatever. I got an email. Uh, I've been working talking with the uh, 4-H Extension Office and kind of got some. Uh, information that I'll send out in an email after the meeting and uh, some people ask that we record this so uh, I've got it recording so that uh, I think Nicole or somebody's going to put it on Facebook for us uh, later on so that people who couldn't attend uh, can uh, chime in so uh, some of the information that they gave me was uh, that rabbit entries uh, we'll, we will conduct ours on fair entry, except for those that have the rabbit breeds, the, I believe it's the English spots that uh, are judged on the, the way that they hop or they track. Um, those will have to uh, submit uh, by video. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. It is, is, is there another breed besides the English spots that we need to have a uh, video to uh, 
judge them. Do the do the tans need the video? Which ones? Tans. Tans. Uh, yeah, pretty much all the running breeds would need a video. All the what? Running breeds. Running breeds. What are those? Or where? Uh, they're the spots, uh, the tans, the Rylanders, the Checker Giants, um, and I think that's it. Okay. So, those, as of right now, that website that you're going to upload those videos to doesn't exist. <laughs> they are making that website uh, right now so that you'll be able to upload those videos uh, later on. Uh, so everything else will just be pictures. So now's a good time to be practicing taking your pictures and whatnot. Um, information on the guidelines for entries, how to, and even example uh, of videos or pictures uh, will come out uh, from the extension office uh, sometime this week. Uh, also, just so you know, even if you go ahead and get your pictures taken of your rabbits, can't, uh, the website will not allow you to upload them until June 15th. Um, the state is currently working on written exams for the rabbit ambassador and we're waiting uh, more information on that. Um, if you guys decide that you don't want to do, uh, submit pictures of your rabbits, uh, we can always do, you can always do posters, right? Um, when uploading to either site, whether it's the picture or the video one, uh, you guys will have about two weeks to get your entries entered. Uh, then they will gather all the information and give it to the judges. Uh, so the traditional fair week of July 10th through the 18th will not be correct as far as the virtual fair. Uh, we will have a digital showcase celebration towards the end of the month of July with all the projects released at once. So we won't know, you know, typically, you know, during fair, you find out where you placed on different things and that won't happen until the end of July. Everybody, that makes sense? Um, due to the Indiana State Fair canceling, uh, we have gotten, uh, we have not gotten further information on what state fair bound projects will be required to do. Uh, they said that uh, they'll make sure that all the families get the information uh, when they find out. Uh, fair board uh, are the ones who uh, conduct the auction. Uh, they are working on ways to hold a virtual auction uh, for us, uh, but there is no details or decisions at this time. And they are still planning on giving ribbons and trophies uh, out for uh, your placements. Uh, they're working with the fair board and the council to decide the best way to pass these out for the families. Does anybody have any questions? You guys are just as quiet in virtual meetings as you are in real meetings. You know that? So, is everybody going to show? Is everybody going to take pictures of the rabbits? Everybody going to do the rabbit? Yeah. It's nervous about taking pictures of the rabbit. Nobody's nervous about it? Everybody's got great pictures? Has anybody already taken pictures of the rabbit? And not the cutesy little pictures where you're posting it online on like Facebook and stuff. You guys make me feel like I talk to myself. <laughs> All right. Well, Gracie, do you want to uh, share some tips? Does anybody have any questions before we turn it over to Gracie? 
Does anybody's parents have any questions that they want me to find answers for to help them out? No, it's all you, Gracie. Okay, so um, when you're taking pictures of your rabbits, like the breeds that you pose, to get the best looking top line for them, you want to take the picture like right below center on the rabbit. So um, you just have to put it on a higher table or something to take the picture of it. Um, another thing that makes the rabbits look really good is if you have a black background and like a spotlight on them. Um, I know it's not possible, but like a dim flashlight works too. Um, Ooh, what else is there? Oh, so when you're taking pictures of your rabbits, you want to make sure to include a side view, a front view, a top view, and a back view. Uh, that's just so the judge gets the what he would see if he had the rabbit in person. Like a top would be like facing straight down, and then, um, I'm not sure if you'd need to take one on both sides, but with the pattern breeds, you probably would need to like the Harlequins or the Spots, breeds like that. Um, uh, yeah, and the running breeds, just a video with all of that. Um, but yeah, I think that's about all I had on tips for that. But. Some things that you, uh, that would probably also be helpful for you is as you're taking the pictures, and whatnot is to either use like books or some sort something to support the phone or the camera so that you get a really steady and nice clear shot right rather than just holding it by hand and you get and then make sure you uh you guys know all that tech stuff where you touch the screen and it, that way it focuses because the better your pictures are the better uh chances you you stand with the judges right yeah um, another thing to add on top of that is it's easier to take pictures if you have two people, like one person like setting up the rabbit and the other one taking the picture while the other person gets out of the way, because the rabbits don't always like to sit still for the pictures. Have you uh, have you done any of the uh, virtual shows, Tracy? I have not. Has anybody? Have you done any, Leanna? No. No. Are you guys signed up to do any coming up? No. No. Hey, Kenny. Yes. Um, it's me. Um, one of the clarifications on the pictures, pictures are not allowed to be taken before the 15th. And when you take your picture, you need to put your name the tattoo number of your rabbit and the date on a piece of paper and lay it in front of your rabbit. That's one of the council's, um, pre, I don't know, like rec or requirements, I guess. Okay. They haven't, they, they haven't issued that out yet with yeah. the requirements. I, well, I thought she was going to, but yeah. So it's, when you, when you go to do this, wait for the um, website to become um, live and then you want to make sure that you have the exhibitor name, so your own name, then the tattoo number of your rabbit, and then the um, date that you took the video or the picture. Does that make sense to everybody? That way, if the, your pictures, if they for some reason they print them off or whatever, they pull it up every time they see uh, your rabbit is recognized through the, the uh, personalized tattoo number. With that being said, does anybody uh, need tattoos? Addie, you need a, your tattoo? Do you have my, uh, you live right around Columbus, right? So do you, uh, if your parents uh, don't have my phone number, uh, your dad should have my phone number. Uh, have him give me a call and uh, we can just meet up and uh, I can do it for you or uh, you can stop by my house and I can do it uh, quick and easy.
and that's something we'll want to get done so that it's nice and healed up and there's no uh, ink or anything on their ears or whatnot. So, uh, if anyone needs their tattooed, I can also tattoo like on my day off. I can, if anyone, if you're not available, I can usually do them too. Sweet. See, we got a great president. Uh, I know Leanna is pretty good at tattooing too. Oh, <laughs> she's not chiming in though. We tattoo our rabbits together all the time. I can do them too any day. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to getting back to, to uh, having our, our meetings and stuff. Hopefully this fall we'll get to go back to normal or the new normal. Um, I'll probably, once they send out the, uh, oh, the requirements on like the pictures, uh, then we'll, we may do another meeting early next week. And that way, if anybody's got any questions or is nervous about anything, we can, uh, work through that. Uh, if, you guys, if you guys come across videos or whatnot that you want to share, uh, send them to me. Um, and I can have them sent out to the entire uh, the club. So if you come up with a good resource or uh, encouragement on how to do things, uh, feel free to share them. I'll share them with the entire group. Um, that way everybody gets uh, to have fun with it. Um, there's a Zoom meeting tonight at around 7 that Jean Thomas is doing for State Fair and all the requirements for rabbits with that. So um, I, my grandma's going to post it for me. So. Yeah, I think they sent out, I got it from the, I think they sent that out to the extension office, didn't they? I think so, yeah. Everybody is getting the information from the extension office, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Okay. I've been trying not to double up on information, that's why I haven't sent anything out because the extension office is sending it out as soon as they can get it and as soon as uh, decisions are made, so rather than make it confusing and have, you know, multiple emails with the same information or me getting it confused from what's the actual one. I've been kind of letting the extension office, uh, we're just going by what they say. That works for everybody. Nobody's depressed about not getting enough emails, are they? I'm not. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you guys need anything, just give me a holler. Uh, my, my number has been on all the emails and stuff. So, uh, reach out if you have any questions, uh, whatnot, me, Gracie, uh, any of your older club leader, uh, club members are always uh, more than willing to help. So don't hesitate to, uh, to reach out. Okay. Sound good? Give me a thumbs up if everybody's good. All right, then I'm gonna we'll, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the meeting if nobody's got any questions. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.